Okay, today we got a quick little video. If you've been following any of the builds that I've been doing, for example, uh, I can put links or you can search the Robot Hut channel and you'll find links to building a uh, gyro section as the display for your tabletop or whatever. And you can even do the whole blockhead Robbie, which has basically everything that is in Robbie, all one to one scale. When it comes to the very top of Robbie's head, there is a dome light up on the top above the gyro section. And uh, if you print it on a 3D printer like this, an FDM, even if you use what's sold as clear, it's going to come out frosted looking because it's real thick. In order to get clear or something like this, you have to do a single layer and then, you know, clear coat it to fill in the grooves. So, not optimal, but works. Uh, the other way you can do it at home or whatever, but it's a lot of work, is these pieces are all cut out of clear acrylic plastic. Now you can cut them by hand or you can cut them by laser, you know, whatever you want to do, and then you have to polish it. Normally uh, you'd flame polish it. As you can see, there's a lot of parts you'd have to cut, you'd have to glue, you'd have to polish. That's a lot of work. If you had to put any value on your time and materials, this would be a very expensive part to make since it is individually handmade. So I catted up these dimensions that I wanted because you see this fits right on the top like that and uh, sent them off to PCB Way to have them just 3D printed in clear resin. Look how perfect that is. Exactly identical and uh, even in a single quantity this was like $15.50 very reasonable and you don't have to select the super fast expensive shipping you can go with the uh, global uh, economy global or whatever it's called on there and, and save a lot of money on the shipping But uh, I think the amount of time and effort in doing one by hand and cutting the parts in acrylic and polishing and gluing them and all of that is going to be worth way more than fifteen dollars so I mean if you're considering doing something like this, then I think you might want to consider using PCB Way to uh, do your clear 3D printing. It uh, is very accurate. It's not warped. There aren't any marks on it, like from supports or anything being removed. It's just top class all the way. Very nice. Looks a lot better than if you FDM it because, I mean, obviously you can do this on your FDM printer with some supports in there that you break out and this is going to cost you a buck or less probably to do, but it's also going to look like this and not clear like what you uh, are hoping to get in your final design. Um, also with the order, this just came today. This is like uh, December 14th or 13th, somewhere in there. They included a couple of uh, ornaments, and you can uh, put batteries in here, which I didn't have, but then there's just uh, LEDs that would light up, and you can hang that on there. i got a gingerbread man and i got a tree. Gingerbread man, one even has a switch on it. If I'd had batteries in them, I'd uh, plug them in for this little show and tell, but uh, it was cool getting a couple of little gifts in with my order. Just uh, always amazed at how... Uh, how perfect the clear resin printing done on professional equipment can be and in this case compared to the amount of labor involved as doing as a DIY $15.50 seems like a very reasonable price 